Hi everyone, this is Utkarsh. I'm here to announce the Network Capital CEO program. As many of you know, that the premise on which Network Capital is set up is to augment everybody's leadership potential so that each of you can build a category of one and eventually lead or form organizations that transform the world and your country and your community at large. But there's a very specific skill set uh, that's required to become a CEO. No, it is not about clearing an exam or going to a school or having a certain alumni network or being a part of a prestigious set of organizations. Some of these things help, but if you actually study the lives of uh, the Fortune 500 CEOs or the CEOs who've actually built a company that serves a purpose, not these fly-by-night operators who make paper money and disappear by God knows what, but if you want to solve real problems in the real world and figure out a financially viable way of doing so, you need to be able to think clearly, read quietly, and speak effectively. These are three critical skills that are required to uh, lead and shape organizations of the future. Unfortunately, most institutions, even the top companies and colleges, do not prepare. Uh, their students and alumni base to speak and think and write clearly. I don't uh, believe that even in the top schools um, in India and many other emerging countries pay an adequate emphasis on training people to speak a certain way, in a way that they can relate and build the kind of relationships that are required to get your point across. There is no focus on accent, there is no focus on intonation, and it's just a tragedy to see, uh, you know, misinformed career advice going around left, right and center about what it really takes to become a CEO, become a community leader, or become something that actually makes a real difference in the real world. So let's briefly touch upon how these things are interrelated and what are the myths and lies that the market tells us. So what's the latest fad going on? Um, just learn to code, learn to say AI after every three or four sentences and life is going to be awesome, especially if you premise everything that you're saying by impact or some high pollution word. But real life is not like that. For you to be able to do something which is differentiated and valued by a large set of stakeholders, you need to build a category of one. I have written about it previously in the Harvard Business Review, but the premise of the article was very simple. If you're constantly spending all your time and all your energy in following every hot new trend and every new shiny object that comes your way, when are you actually sitting quietly and absorbing and thinking about stuff that really makes a difference? And if you're not spending that time, where will you get the mental energy and the physical energy and the spiritual energy to do the kind of work that actually shapes the future? It is not a, a three-day project. It is not a, you know, a three-month project. It is a 10 to 20-year journey of consistent compounded effects that you will reap the benefits of. And I want you to benefit from the support system that Network Capital has established so that we can all support each other, become a little bit better every day. So how does it start? It starts by reading great books. You would have noticed that we've set up a collection of some of the best books that every single person should read. And there is absolutely no substitute for that. If you're not spending or listening or thinking to some of the ideas that have shaped the world, you're never going to have the base to be able to really think independently. I have personally studied the lives of and worked with uh, some of the top CEOs in the world. And after studying them, working with them, seeing how they operate in high stress situations, I can now see what it takes to become one. Um, some of the experiences that I've had, some of the principles that I've seen, and it's a carefully structured, compounded benefit that they reap over a period of years. So for you to be able to do that, the first step is to have a strong base of different subjects that you've read, thought about, and engaged in. It's, uh, you will notice that some of the CEOs that you admire tend to be 
fairly thoughtful and they draw on a wide spectrum of subjects. They try and avoid buzzwords as much as possible and are able to communicate their ideas fairly clearly because their source of knowledge is not a blog that they run, read on Twitter, right? It's genuine engagement with some of the classic material that the world has to offer. So it begins by that. Next is the important uh, uh, part of writing. So many of you are part of our writing boot camp and you've seen how we uh, go about explaining the complex concepts and how we are together training to eventually get published by the end of this month. And again, it's a fairly structured process. There are obvious pitfalls that you can avoid in order to communicate your ideas through the written word. And uh, if you have not read, you won't have enough ideas to to synthesize and if you can't synthesize why are you writing and if you can't write you can't engage with a company or a community or your customers and I'm sorry tweets don't count um, going on to um, the third important aspect of speaking clearly and speaking efficiently some of the most riveting experiences in your childhood or in when you were you know when you were thinking about becoming somebody or people that you admire is the ability of people to really engage a wide spectrum of people through the power of their words, by their speeches. There are books written on some of the great speeches delivered even today in the corporate world. Some of the most memorable positive experiences are when, you know, um, a top-notch CEO engages with hundreds of thousands of employees and uh, is able to deliver a complex message. Um, some of the politicians who we admire or we look up to are the people who are able to connect uh, without riling people up. So it's a very particular way of speaking and it's a very particular way of uh, getting your ideas across because it's not just about uh, sharing what's in your mind. A great speaker is able to establish the connect and is able to answer the most important question why should you care about whatever he or she is talking about and then move forward so in our ceo program we are going to touch upon these three aspects of it this is not as i was telling you a three day or a three week process it will take a long term engagement but yes our program is going to be designed in terms of cohort and uh, whoever wishes to sign up can do so uh, we're going to deliver this program in schools in colleges in corporates in different kinds of uh, organizations and communities but we're going to specially focus on um, you know on on areas where there's strong demand so we've determined that school is one area of, uh, for our focus it's also going to be campuses and uh, we're also going to take a handful of uh, mature professionals because of the way we work is through a flipped classroom we're going to send you a whole bunch of uh, master classes podcasts and letters to read and you will come to our platform and then we are going to make you go through the process and then uh, measure progress consistently and deliberately so that we know where we are and what journey that we that still left towards our final destination once you do all of that is there a guarantee that you will become a ceo or a world leader so the answer is no but this will be one of the best and most effective preparations you can do to one day lead the organizations. And even though becoming a CEO or a world leader might still be a few years ahead, you will see consistent progress in your personal and in your professional lives. And I'm super excited to be able to take you through this journey. Over the years, we've built a, a very large community of some of the most distinguished world leaders around the world. And there are specific people who've learned to speak and write so well and I want to be able to take their experiences and transfer them to you. But we're going to learn through the community, with the help of a community, and help each other arrive at the final destination. Look, CEO is merely a word. You, Everyone can, cannot and should not aspire to be a CEO. It's just a cute little um, acronym that does convey the point. It essentially means that if you want to make a difference in any sphere of life, you have to master these three skills and it's not a function no app can do this for you no you know like no tweet can do this for you it's a deliberate engagement that all of us have to partake of and see where it goes thank you very much